in this session we would be uh, we've, we've been given a question and the question goes like this enter the following transactions in a single cash book of mr x for 2009 so we've been asked to prepare a simple cash book please remember single column cash book is also called a simple cash book it is called a simple cash book because it has only one column and then it is very straightforward and easy to prepare so single column cash book is also called as simple uh, cash book so uh, it means one and the same and simple uh, cash book refers to single column cash book and we've been given around uh, nine transactions over here and we've been asked to prepare these nine transactions into the uh, single column cash book now let's go about preparing uh, the transactions Uh, so to start off with, we have prepared the format of single column cash book here on the board. And uh, let me just quickly touch upon the format. Please remember this side of the cash book is called as the debit side. And this side is called as the credit side. And uh, it is symmetrical in nature. Uh, so you have date, particulars, LF, LF stands for ledger folio, receipt number, amount, then cre credit side again, you have date, particulars lf voucher number and then amount uh receipt number voucher number for our numericals we would not be using these two columns the reason being uh, these are columns which are used for recording the uh, receipt number as well as the voucher number but uh, in in the numericals that we have been working we we work out uh, we do not have these informations handy with us. So because of which we will not be preparing or we will not be entering these details. However, in real life scenarios, we would be uh, we would be entering the receipts as well as the voucher numbers. So please remember this side is referred to as debit side. This side is referred to as the credit side. And remember, single column cash book, it is real in nature. Golden rules goes as debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Now let's look at the transactions one by one. Please remember the time frame for which we are preparing this is 2009. Okay, we are preparing this for 2009. So the transaction goes like this: March 1st, balance of cash in hand. Okay, balance of cash in hand. Now what does this mean? This means you are having so much of cash in your hand. You are having a balance of so much of cash in your hand. Now remember. Um, you will have an entry like this when you are bringing down a previous month's balance. Okay? We, all, we are already familiar with the preparation of ledgers and balancing of ledgers. So here, how we would be entering this transaction is to balance brought down. Okay? To balance brought down. Now, why is to balance brought down? It is to balance brought up because you're carrying down the previous month's uh, balance. Okay, you're carrying down, you're carrying back the previous uh, month's balance, and that is the reason why it is to balance. So why is it to? Because the entry is featuring on the debit side. Okay, the entry is fe featuring on the debit side. That is why it is to. So to balance brought down. Okay, so that was the transaction on March first. Now let's look at the next transaction. Next transaction is on 5th of March. The next transaction is on 5th of March and the transaction goes like this. Cash sales 16,500. Cash sale. Now remember whenever you carry out a cash sale, would cash be coming in or would cash be going out? Cash would be coming in. Remember the golden rule is debit what comes in. Remember the transaction is debit what comes in so it is two sales account and the amount is 16,500 okay the amount is 16,500 okay so it is 16,500 so cash has come in now let's look at the next transaction 10th of March March 10th okay 10th of March March 10th the transaction tells us Purchase missionary for cash. Remember, whenever you carry out a purchase, what would be happening to the cash? Is it an inflow or is it an outflow? It would be an outflow of cash. Cash would be going out, out, uh, out from the business. So 
here since the transaction is featuring on credit side it would be buy okay it would be buy so buy missionary account okay and the amount is 6300 okay. amount is 6300 so buy missionary account uh, 6300 march 13 rent received from tenant okay so here uh, you're receiving rent okay someone is paying you rent but when someone is paying you rent what is happening rent uh, cash would be coming in okay cash would be coming in so march 13 okay march 13 the amount is to rent account amount is to rent account and the amount is 3000 okay the amount is 3000 to rent account amount is 3000 okay the amount is uh, 3000 so because cash is coming in next one uh, march 19 goods purchased from for cash from david so the next one march 19 the transaction is goods purchased for cash from david so here what is happening you're carrying out some purchase from david but what kind of a purchase is it it is a credit purchase sorry it is a cash purchase i'm so sorry it is a cash purchase so cash purchase you should show it in your cash book had this been a credit purchase where should you be showing it you should have been showing this in your purchase book but here since it is a it since it is a cash purchase you will have to be showing this in your you will have to be showing this in your cash book so here it would be buy purchase account and the amount is 9000 the amount is 9 uh, well now why is it featuring on credit theft? please remember when you carry out a cash purchase what will happen to the cash the cash would be going out okay cash would be going out march 21st salary paid to staff rupees 5000 uh, salary paid to staff so when you pay salary what happens cash would be going out march 21st buy salary account by salary account and the amount is 5000 uh, the amount is 5000 by salary account and the amount is 5000 uh, next one 21st cash received from jaipal okay, cash received from jaipal march 22nd okay cash received from jaipal so when jaipal gives you cash what happens cash would be coming in okay cash would be coming in so here what will happen is um so here what will happen is uh to jaipal's account and the amount is 8000 okay amount is 8000 so to jaipal account and the amount is 8000 march 25th deposited into bank okay. so what is happening on 25th you're taking your money from your business you're going to the bank and you're depositing it so what is happening cash is going out from your business and it is going into your bank account so here it will be march 25th by bank account okay and the amount is 12 by bank account and the amount is 12,000 uh, the last transaction March 30th paid for sundry expenses now what is meant by sundry sundry means miscellaneous you had some miscellaneous expenses in your business for which you had to pay some money and you had to pay 1500 so how do you go about with this it is by sundry expenses and the amount is 1500 okay and the amount is 1500 so by sundry expenses and the amount is 1500 so this is how you would be going about with the preparation of 
a single column cash flow. But with that, uh, the preparation is not over as yet because we have to balance this. If the preparation is not over as yet, we will have to balance this. We have to balance the debit with the credit. So uh, in the case of a uh, single column cash book, what will happen is it, is it is very much similar to the balancing of a ledger account. You will have to add up the debit uh, with the credit. So 19,500 plus 16,500 plus 3,000 uh, plus 8,000. So if you work out, uh, the total works out to be 46,800. Okay, the total works out to be 46,800. Now let's check out the uh, credit side, 6,300 plus 9,000 plus 5,000 plus uh, 12,000 plus 1,500. Uh, the total works out to be 33,800. Okay, the total works out to be 33,800. But remember, how much should the total here be? It should be 46,800. Now, why should it be 46,800? Because debit has to be equal to credit, which means how will you make the credit side equal to debit side? You have to build, bring in another 13,000. So what is this 13,000? 13,000 is your balancing figure. Okay, 13,000 is your balancing figure. So March 31st by balance carried down it is 13,000 and then April 1st to balance brought down and it is 13,000. Okay. So this is how we would be going about with the preparation of single column cash book. Okay, this is how we would be going about with the preparation of single column cash book.